Before we dive into the code, let me just lay out the basic structure of every given project. Every given project will have main.py and kv files. The name of the kv file has to be the same as the app class name. The class app name here is all camel case, whereas the kv file has the same name but all lower case. We must follow this convention as this is one of the kv rule. In main.py file, we have this test game widget that instantiates the game world with init underscore game world call. In the init call, we declare the system IDs we are using in this game. And then there's a callback on instantiation. Let's look at our KV file. The test game widget has game world underneath. We declare the ID, the screen manager, the size, and the number of systems we are using and the zones for memory optimization. Let's just not worry about zones. We will just use one general zone for now and we will discuss it later in one of the next videos. Then we will declare the properties of our game systems. Mainly we will have to declare the ID and the zone that the game system is going to be using. In our case, the system will just get general zone. The ID that we declare here will get added to the list that we will declare in our init underscore game world call in our main.py file. Let's discuss the callback self dot init underscore game function. In this call, we will set up our game states. The game state refers to the active or inactive systems. But let's just not get confused about it. I will elaborate it in detail in one of the next videos. Then the other call is just to set these one of the states that we have declared in our setup underscore states. After doing these calls, we can call our function that can either create game objects or do any other usual programming stuff. This is the main structure. Let's look into the actual code of these two files. I am using PyCharm, a superb editor to write Python programs. You can use your favorite editor. We start off with the main.py file. At top, we have our imports. We import app from kiwi.app module and make an instance of app class. Then we import widget, clock, window, and string property. We declare our test game widget and instantiate our game world. The init underscore game world has the list of system IDs we are using for now. And then there is a call for self.init underscore game. Both main.py and kv file has to be in the same folder. A link to both these files is available in the description below. In our kv file, the main widget is test game and under test game we have declared the properties of our game world. We declare the ID, the game screen manager, the size of the game world which is in kikibytes and then, and then we declare the general zones uh, which is 10,000 units of memory. Every game should use four of these basic game systems position system that positions the entities on the game screen, a scale system that is responsible for scaling the game objects, color system that is used to manipulate the color of objects, rotate system that has rotated my mind a few times is used to handle the rotation of objects, and lastly the most important game system the renderer that renders the game objects on the game screen. All these game systems have ID, game world, and zones parameter. The renderer, on the other hand, has two extra parameters. The shader source, which is the GLSL file. This file is responsible for communicating with the hardware of device on which the game screen is being rendered. You should use the same render file for all renderers. 
unless you want to do some fancy stuff and you want to customize the GLSL file and last parameter which is system names which is the order of the systems in the end of KV file we configure the game screen manager and debug panel the debug panel displays the frame rate of the game frame rate of 60 to 90 is suitable for video games once server game is finished and debugged we should remove the debug panel on the lighter note kikibyte is such a fun word hey john what did you eat in breakfast uh, some milk and kikibytes back to main.py file the system IDs that we have declared in the kb file goes in the init underscore game world in the systems list let's discuss the init underscore game function this function is calling two other functions that is setup underscore states and set state before we discuss setup underscore states function we should know that a game has different states like menu state gameplay state and pause resume states in each of these states we are using a set of systems that may be paused in other states in the setup underscore states, we should focus on which systems are paused and unpaused. In main state, we kick off with these five systems, so all these systems are unpaused. And in the set underscore state, we are setting the game world state to main that we have declared earlier. As we run the main.py file, we should see an empty blank screen as an output our most important step towards completing the game. This blank screen means that we have set up our game world and systems correctly. We have not loaded any game objects just yet. In the next video, we will start adding our game objects to the screen.